early on we kind of talked about uh, Zappos and they said trusting the customer. Yep. And I think a lot of that runs you know, through, uh, through some of the points that we made. Um, one of the interesting things that came out was customer effort cost. And so there's a lot of conversation I think we've heard of, you know, throughout is millennials or this age group or that's going to change or this is going to change. I mean, the reality is we're still doing sales, we're still making products, selling products, and a lot of that is, you know, still niche stuff. Um, and so I don't think millennials are that different a group. They just want, a, like we all do, low effort. And the reason they behave the way they do is because they've been exposed to things that make sense. Yep. Web pages that are 2.0, that are smooth, fluid. Um, and they really don't want, they, they've come to expect that level of service. Um, and it's not really necessarily about how, what the medium is or otherwise, it's, it's just what is that cost to me? How much, how much effort does it require? Um, second point, something I, I read in college which I thought was very interesting. Um, it was a book about uh, the, the medium being the message. So we can't sit and have political discourse over smoke signals. I mean, it might be fine for me to send a smoke signal that says, hey, we're about to be invaded but we're not going to argue politics across smoke signals. The medium determines the quality of the message. And so uh, a, a lot of what was being asked was, okay, you know, you have the omni-channel, should we you know, move to email, should we move to chat? Uh, you know, uh, and and uh, one of the points that came up was that each one has its place. And I think companies a lot of time like to kind of uh, massage that and say, hey, you know, uh, millennials only want chat, millennials only want email. And I thought it was an interesting uh, kind of point to both your gentlemen's uh, points. You said, I don't want to be on the phone. But I think an interesting question is, if I overcharge a bank account and you're about $1,000 down, what medium do you want to connect to somebody over? And I think as a generation, I, the second I'm a grand down in my bank account, I'm on the phone. Um, and so it has a place. And the reason for that is, again, the medium allows for that kind of uh, discourse. Um, an interesting point that was brought up was digital failures. And we, we look at it and we say, I think, as, as, as again, to that point of, of why companies are pushing that way, there's a selfish motive, which is, you know, a phone is expensive, it's an expensive channel to maintain. Um, and so they look at it and say, well, that's expensive, let's push them off. If we can get an email, if we can get in the chat, um, it's, it's going to be great. We're going to save money. No millennials, they're, they're all millennials, they're, they're going to be happier in that, that channel. Um, the digital failures, and it's interesting, I think uh, one of the points that was made today was, you know, uh, 12 good, uh, uh, you know, uh, interactions with the company uh, to counter one bad. Well, imagine, in the end, a phone system is essentially the safety net for the digital failures. Because, uh, again, most of the time we like, if we have an intelligent system, we have good functioning web, we have good chat, we have good other channels, uh, we're not going to use phone because maybe that's the appropriate uh, avenue. But when all of that goes sideways, you're going to find if you do the data and you start looking at it, people are pushed into the channel of phone because it is what, in the end, when things really go awry, it's the proper, proper uh, medium for that. So I think uh, companies have to really be more honest about why are we trying to omni-channel this direction or that direction? Is it because that's what the customer wants? It's the most appropriate thing for the customer um, and they're asking for it? Or is it because, hey, you know, uh, this, this channel, we, we think it's more costly, and we think we could uh, you know, do most of the same work this other way? Well, it's, it's kind of selfish, right? And again, going back to the value of the customer, if you look at it, and the customer spent a lot of money with you, allowing them to choose their channel. If their channel really is email, then provide spectacular email you know, service, and, and, and maybe that's the proper medium for that message. And again, going back to the same thing, not all customers should be valued the same. We, we had a, a little bit of a conversation about uh, um, maybe starting customers off with a high value, saying everyone who starts with us, they're, they got 100 points in their account, and maybe we find that they're a, a, a bad customer. You know, Every interaction, the agent goes, you know what, this person called for no good reason, uh, blah, 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 and you start devaluing them. We had a conversation about how nobody loves jelly beans. And I said, well, no, not all jelly beans are the same. They're, they're jelly dubs. They're spectacular jelly beans. I, I used to do sales, and I'd walk into a, uh, a company, and they would have the really, really crappy candy. And I would look at it, and I literally would judge the, the company from that candy jar. I would say, if this is my first touch with you, right, and you have crappy generic, you know, everybody knows the kind of stuff when you were a kid nobody wanted at Halloween, candy <laughs> on your counter, I would say, well, if you don't have the, the polish or, or the insight to see that's a crappy thing of candy. It's a really good jelly bean. What's this, <laughs> what's this mean to the rest of your company? You know, and so, uh, you know, props to P2P because if you had regular jelly beans out here, in the back of my mind, I would have said, 
regular jelly beans. Wow, what's that mean about the rest of your organization? I think it's the same thing. The phone's got to be intelligent. The email's got to be intelligent. It's all has to be intelligent. The candy has to be intelligent.